Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Crock-Pot dinner recipe video. Y'all seem to enjoy this the last week, so I thought I would continue and do it again. So this one I have got three super yummy, delicious chicken Crock-Pot recipes. And I also have a chocolate cobbler dessert from the Crock-Pot, y'all. It was amazing, so good. Definitely rep represents like a chocolate lava cake. Uh, it was so good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gives you some crock pot um, meal inspiration. Um, I absolutely have been loving my crock pot. So this is definitely something that's going to keep going on my channel because um, I'm just addicted. It's my, it's my best friend. <laughs> that's what I said on Instagram uh, yesterday. I was like, my crock pot is my kitchen best friend. That's what it is. So if you're like me and love crock pot recipes, then make sure that you hit that notification bell and subscribe. Um, so you can see a future crock pot meals plus I do all kinds of other foodie content what's for dinners weekly vlogs and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into it Okay y'all, so we are starting off this crock pot video with some chicken tostadas. Y'all, this was so freaking delicious. So for the crock pot recipe itself, I just made some queso chicken. I'll have that recipe listed down below for you guys. I got the recipe from Pinterest. So I'll have it linked. So I always just season up my chicken most of the time. So I'm just seasoning it on both sides with that SPG, um, the Suckle Busters. I'll have that link's always in the description box. So you know that. I absolutely love Suckle Buster seasonings. Um, and so then we're just going to add in one can of the Kroger brand Rotel. And then we're going to go in with some queso. I just used what I had left in the uh, fridge so I could kind of use it up. But that Monterey Jack queso was really good um, for this dish. So I think it called for like three-fourths of a cup of queso. I didn't have that much, but it still turned out really good. And then you just set it on low or high depending on the time limit you have and let it cook all day. Here's what it looks like when it is finished. And so then I just took and shredded up that chicken. Y'all, it melted like butter. It took no effort at all to break that chicken up and shred it up. So like I said, I served this as tostadas, but this recipe is very versatile for using it as like taco salads or even in burritos, chiladas. The options are endless with that recipe. So here's how I served it up. I just fried up my corn um, tortillas there and a little bit of oil. And on the top of our tostadas, I made a Mexican street corn salad. Y'all, this was so good. We love Mexican street corn. Um, and normally we do it like on corn on the cobs. But I had a can of corn and I just drained it. And I heated it up on the stovetop, as you see in that pan. And once it got nice and hot, um, I just added in a couple tablespoons of that Duke's mayo, mixed it together, and then I made a little topping, creme topping with some Parmesan cheese and some chili powder. I just kind of, I don't measure. I just like to, I just kind of add the chili powder until I think it looks good. Um, you can kind of see it throughout the Parmesan cheese. But I made that to go on top and I just served it up with the, put the tostada down and then I put some of that chicken on there and then I did some cheese sauce, our favorite Sam's cheese sauce and um, then I put the corn and then I put the creme on top of that. Y'all, this was delicious. Even Luke was like, this is really good, babe. So we served it along with some of our minute rice. I'll have that recipe listed for you guys as well. And this was delicious. Such a easy and I feel like our new favorite chicken style like taco night. Thank you. 
so i'm gonna go ahead and share this crock pot dessert because it is so good and i cannot wait till the end to share it with you all so um this is a chocolate cobbler i did find the recipe on pinterest i'll have it linked below but i did have to alter it some just because i didn't have the exact ingredients but y'all it worked out perfect so the recipe called for one box of chocolate pudding mix and i didn't have any chocolate pudding i only had vanilla or i had cheesecake flavored and I ended up using the cheesecake flavor and y'all this was so good so you just have the bo instant box of pudding the cake mix water oil eggs and sour cream and you're just going to mix all that together until smooth and then you're going to add that into a greased crock pot and you're going <clears> to <throat> let it cook for about three to four hours it said in the recipe that um, you want the top of the cake to look done and you know it's done because this is like like it's a chocolate cobbler so kind of a lava cake so you still want that liquidy chocolate lava part you know what I'm saying and so um, the cakes not going to be fully cooked the eggs are going to be cooked but the cake ex the cake itself is not going to be fully cooked but y'all this was so good we served it up with some whipped cream I put some caramel on mine and some chocolate syrup because you know I'm extra that way this was the bomb. So here it is when it's all done. I'm telling y'all, the house smelled so good, so chocolatey. <laughs> this was freaking delicious, I'm telling you. So the cake around the crock itself, of course, cook, um, cooked longer. So if you want more cakey, then I would scoop from the side. And then if you want, of course, want that nice soft lava center, then go in for the center. And oh, I like both. I did the best of both worlds. So like I said, I just topped mine with some whipped topping and some caramel and sweet Jesus, I need this in my life again. Okay, y'all, so for the next crock pot meal, it's another chicken one, like I said. I was totally going chicken in this for this video. Apparently, I love me some anything chicken in the crock pot. It's just so easy. So I'm going to add three chicken breasts to my crock pot for this one. This is Italian chicken pasta. I'll have a link for it down below. We have been making this for years. It is so delicious, and it's actually one of Luke's favorite pasta dishes. Um he absolutely loves this so you're just going to add in your chicken breast i did three and then you're going to need two cans of cream of chicken soup one thing of a, the dry italian and a block of cream cheese
So you're just gonna add everything on top of your chicken, smooth out your cream soups, and then top it with that block of cream cheese. And you're just gonna put the lid on it, set it, and forget it. So I just set mine on low to let it slow cook all day, but of course, it just depends on how much time you have, if you cook it on high or low. It is, I'm telling y'all, this one is so good. And this one makes your house smell amazing. So here it is, all done. It has been cooking all day long. I'm just gonna take and shred up that chicken and mix in the cream cheese. And the cream cheese where you put it in there at the beginning and it just like kind of slow, heat, it heated up slowly throughout the whole cooking time. It's just nice and like just falls apart and it's just melts beautifully into a sauce. So to serve along with our chicken pasta, I just made some of the five cheese Texas toast from Walmart. Normally I do my own garlic bread, but Luke and I were both like, let's just get some. Cause you know, sometimes we all know this is not better than, you know, like the loaf bread, garlic toast. We all know that, but of course it's always cheaper just to make your own, but we splurged, I guess, for this recipe <laughs> and bought a $2 box of Texas toast. <laughs> So I have just cooked my noodles on the side. Y'all know I love the corkscrew. Those are my favorite noodles. Um, but I just cooked them on the side and then added in and just gave it a good stir in the crock pot. And here's my plate. We had some green beans. And y'all, this was just so delicious. Like I said, this is one of Luke's favorite chicken crock pot dishes. And it's just so good. Okay, y'all, so for the last chicken crock pot recipe, we have got smothered mushroom chicken. This was a new to me recipe. It was the first time trying it, and we really thought it was pretty good, but I'm going to be honest, it gave us killer heartburn. So I just wanted to like put that out there. Like it was good, but it gave us really bad heartburn. So I just have a pack of sliced mushrooms that I mix, that I'm putting in that bowl, and I've got two cans of cream of mushroom. The recipe called for one can of chicken, one can of mushroom, but I didn't have that, so I just used two cans of mushroom. And then one packet of onion, um, like the dry onion mix, and then a little bit of water, Sorry. and some pepper. So I just mixed all that up together, and then you're just gonna take, and you're gonna put that mixture on top of your chicken breast, and then you're just gonna set it, forget it, and let it cook.
So you just add that mixture on top and then set it and forget it. I cooked ours on low all day. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. Y'all, it was super tender and delicious. The chicken just fell apart. This recipe had a ton of flavor and we just served it along with some mashed potatoes and some mac and cheese and a sister shoe roll. And that is it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some new crock pot meal inspiration. All three of these crock pot chicken recipes were amazing. And then of course, you cannot go wrong with a crock pot dessert. That chocolate dessert was the bomb.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you want me to keep doing these. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.